five essential steps to getting things done workflow and how I use it with email. Are you working in a corporate world and finding yourself overwhelmed by emails and workload? I had similar issues in my early 20s. I started working in a large corporate company where I quickly moved up the ranks. And with that, I gained more responsibility and work. I struggled for a few months to stay on top of things and I thought there was a better way to manage my workload. I found Dave Allen's Getting Things Done book recommended in productivity forums. So I read the book and applied the ideas. Over time, I took the ideas and concepts that worked for me and created my own systems using it. If you are interested in optimizing your own workflows and systems, Systems, please subscribe for new videos on latest techniques, tools and hacks for personal workflows. Set up the folder structure. My primary place to store my tasks was in the Microsoft Outlook inbox. The main reason to use Outlook inbox was that a lot of the tasks came by emails. But you can use any other email client software for this workflow. The folder structure reflects the workflow. Inbox. Email tasks start here. Emails could move to other folders as I process them. Action folder. Emails would move here if there was an action on me. I would work out if it was an urgent or important task and move to the email to the right folder. Waiting folder. Emails would move here if I'm waiting for someone or I am dependent on another deliverable to occur. Archive folder. Emails would move here once I finished and stored in the right folder depending on the date. I would use numbers to sort the folder in the correct order. Each folder played a different role in my process. All items start in the inbox. The most important concept introduced in Dave Allen's book was capturing our ideas in one place. It turned out our brains are not the right place to store and process tasks. I would capture email tasks as follows. If I had a meeting with someone, I would use email meeting minutes to track my tasks. If I have tasks during a call, I will send a follow-up email to track the tasks. If I created a new task or set of tasks I had to give to someone, I would BCC myself to follow it in my inbox. I would send emails to myself if it came from any other route. Using this process meant I captured my tasks in one place. Review inbox. My second step was to process the inbox. I would review my inbox in the morning before starting work, after lunch, and at the end of the day. I avoid looking at emails outside of these times to avoid being distracted. I would only look at the emails outside this schedule if someone contacted me directly. My goal in processing the email is to understand what it is and place them in the right category. Emails would fall under these groups. To-do items. These items would be moved to an action folder if they've met the following criteria. Is it something I have to do? Is it something I have to tell someone else to do? Waiting items. These would be moved to a waiting folder and identified by these questions. Am I dependent on this to complete my task? Is it something I need to chase up later? For your information items. These would be moved to an archive folder and usually consist of FYI emails, missed messages and out of offices, newsletters, Yammer messages and team updates. Process action folder. I would go through the action folders as follows. Is it something I can do in two minutes? If so, do it and move the email to the archive folder. Is it something I have to do and it's urgent? If so, I move it to the urgent subfolder and estimate the amount of time it will take and schedule the tasks on the calendar. Is it something I have to do and it's important? If so, I move it to the important subfolder and estimate the amount of time it will take and schedule the task on the calendar. Is it something I have to tell someone else to do? Tell them and move the email to the waiting folder. Is there a dependency on the task to be completed? If so, I move the email to the waiting folder. Otherwise, I would leave the email in the action folder for another day or when I have time to review it. Setting up calendar entries tells me what tasks I need to work on next. It also prevents people from blocking up meetings and taking up my time. Process waiting folder. I would process the waiting folder to chase up tasks that are pending or that have a dependency on my action task. The best way I found to chase up waiting tasks are give people a ring or chat with them, set a deadline or find out a delivery date. If you are not waiting for something, either move the email back to the action folder if it was a dependency or move the email to the archive folder if you do not need to track it anymore. There is no one size fits all for GTD and it is up to you to customize it to create your own personal workflow. Getting things done works great for me in a corporate environment. 
but not for personal use. I used Microsoft Inbox as a central place to capture tasks and structure my Inbox for GTD processing. Review the contents of your Inbox three times a day to identify actions, waiting for items, and things that can be archived. Avoid doing this throughout the day or it will become overwhelming. Use the action folder to focus on quick, urgent, and important tasks. Use the waiting folder to focus on chasing people and unblocking your action tasks. If you're interested in more techniques, tools, and hacks for your personal workflow, subscribe for new videos. Thank you for watching.